What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Profile Builder tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to walk through um, looking at one of the Profile Builder example models and showing you how it's been created. So in this case we're going to look at the bleacher assembly that's contained inside a Profile Builder. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So if you are interested in Profile Builder you can check it out at the SketchupEssentials.com slash Profile Builder. I will note that is an affiliate link. So as a lot of you know, Profile Builder is a smart profile and assembly building extension. So um, it allows you to create different profiles that automatically fill in things like rail pickets and um, other things like that. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to look at one of the assemblies that's contained inside of the program and kind of how it's been built. So if you look at this, th this is the bleacher assembly and you can get into the bleacher assembly by clicking on your assembly dialog and then clicking this button right here in order to find that assembly and it should be in your folder items in your example folder. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a look at this and show you how to create something like this inside of, uh, inside of Profile Builder. And so what we want to do is let's look through this first and look at the different parts and pieces. So the first part and piece of this is it has different seats in here. And these seats are in here as profiles. So if you remember, profiles are objects that are extruded along a path. So in this case, for example, the profile for this bleacher seat is gonna be this rectangle. And it's getting extruded as long as this assembly goes. So, and if we click through this, you can see how most of the profiles in here um, are either the footrests, which are the pieces down below, or they're the seats, which are the pieces up above. So you can see how these are all just instances of the same profile. They're all instances of either the plank or the seat. And so those get extruded along the length. And then if you click on your components, you can see how there's a couple different component types in here. So there's back rail returns. So that's gonna be this object right here and this object right here. So that's getting added at the front and the back. And then you also have your posts and wood base. So that's getting repeated every eight feet. So you can see how that's actually in here as a component. So if you click in here and look at this, that's actually a component contained inside of your model. So every eight feet with a little bit of a setback, this is creating a post in here. And then the last thing we wanna look at is the span that's making up the back. And so the span is being used to figure out where the different posts should go on the back because you can see how this is alternating between a bigger post and a smaller post. So this is being used to figure out that spacing between those different posts. And so for the first part, I may make this into a two part and talk about the span in the second part. For the first part of this, let's go in here and let's create a similar bleacher um, using different assemblies. So I wanna walk you through how to do this. So to start off, what we wanna do is we wanna create a new assembly. Um, so to create a new assembly, you're just going to click on the plus button and we're just going to name this bleacher example. And now what we need to do is we need to start adding stuff into this assembly because there's nothing in the assembly right now. So to start off, we want to go ahead and we want to add a profile member. And so the profile member in this case is going to be the plank or the seating object. So for this, what we want to do is we want to click on this plus button for add a profile member. Well, as of right now, other than the ones that are being used in this assembly, and I want to start from the beginning, we don't have any profiles that we can use. So what we want to do is we need to add a profile that we're going to be able to use inside of our bleacher assembly. And so what I want to do first is I want to draw a profile that's going to make up this seat. So I'm just going to use the line tool and I'm just gonna draw a line that we're gonna call, we'll call this 12 inches, we'll kind of match the dimensions from over here and we'll call this two inches thick. And so what we wanna do is we want to create this as a profile. So now that we've drawn this shape in here, we can click on this button right here to activate the edit profile manager and we can add this as a profile. So what we're gonna do in this situation is just click on the button for new profile and it's helpful if you have this selected. So select this object and then click on new profile and we're just gonna call this bleacher underscore seat. We're gonna click on okay. And so when we do that, you can see how what that does is that picks up um, this object 
So it reads that this is a profile and it picks it up and it gives you a preview of it right here. And so what we have right now is we have a bleacher seat profile. And I'm gonna go ahead for now and I'm gonna set the insertion point as bottom right. We may need to change that later, but that's gonna be the point that this is brought in at or using as a base point. And so once we've set this to bottom right, I think everything is kind of set the way I want it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Well now, what we have is we have an assembly with a single profile member, which is gonna be my bleacher seat. And we're gonna go ahead and label these just to stay organized. So we're just gonna call this bottom bleacher seat. And so now, if I was to create this as an assembly, if I was to click and move my mouse, you can see how it draws that seat into this assembly. So this assembly right now consists of one bleacher. And so now what we wanna do is we wanna add a second bleacher. So, and what we wanna do in this situation is we don't need to go back in and redraw this. All we need to do now is just click the plus button. When we click the plus button, you can see how this automatically retains this bleacher seat name so that we can just use that profile again. If this doesn't work, you can click on this button right here and you can go find that profile if that doesn't work, you can click on this button right here and you can just select your bleacher seat and click OK. Um, you may need to add one of those into your model so that you can pick it up with the uh, eyedropper tool. But for now, I think we're going to be in good shape here. But what we're going to call this is we're going to call this bleacher seat 2. And so right now, and one thing you need to get fairly good at when you're working with this program is updating your assemblies so you can see what they've done. So I do this all the time. So right now, for example, I have a copy of this assembly in here. Well, what I want to do is I want to select it, and then I want to click on this button right here to apply assembly attributes. Well, what that's going to do is that's going to update this based on whatever changes I just made. So for right now, what this is gonna do is we need to set this so that our bleacher has a setback. So, or we need to set this so that this has a left-right offset because we don't want these stacked on top of each other. We want them offset from each other. So in order to do that, this is gonna be approximately 24 inches back from my front point. So I'm just gonna type in a value of 24. Then I'm gonna hit the tab key. When I hit the tab key, you can see how this preview updates. You can also click on this button right here to apply assembly attributes if you have this selected to see what this changed. And so the first thing you're gonna notice is this got moved the wrong direction. What we want this to do is we want this to move left, not right. So what we need to do is we need to set our left right offset to negative 24 inches. And then I'm gonna hit the tab key. And if I update this, you can see how that change is gonna update right here. Well now, that seat has been moved back um, so that it's now offset 24 inches from this front, from this front corner. So but what, the other thing we need to do is we need each one of these bleacher seats to move up as well as back. So we need to set an up-down offset. So in this situation, we're gonna set an up-down offset of 12 inches. And then if you tab out of this, you can see how this preview is going to update. And we can also apply the assembly attributes to see that change right here. So you can see how now what we have is we have two seats in our bleacher assembly. So a lot like this one, this is moved back 12 inches and then up or this is moved back 24 inches and up 12 inches. And 12 inches may be too much. We may end up putting this at more like six inches looking at this other bleacher assembly. So maybe we'll bring this back down to like six inches. But the cool thing about um, profile builders making that change is really easy. And so now we can just click the plus button again to add another profile member. We're gonna do the same thing. So this is gonna be bleacher seat three. But this one, you want to have a left-right offset of negative 48 inches instead of 24, and you want it to have an up-down offset of 12 inches. So because this is all based on that first point right here, so you want this one to be offset 48 inches back instead of 12 inches back. So you can see how now I have a third bleacher rail in here. So we're gonna add one more, and we're gonna call that bleacher number four. So bleacher number Four. And we'll go ahead and set the left right offset on that one to negative 60 inches and the up down offset to be 
18 inches. And so now if we update this, and that's not right, it needs to go a little bit further. It needs to be negative six feet, not negative five feet. So you can see how figuring out this trial and error process gets really important, just so you can kind of see um, what's being changed and what's happening inside of this model. So it's really important for you to keep updating and applying these attributes as you make changes, just so you can see them, just so that you can see them show up inside of your model and make sure that everything's being set properly. And so let's say that we also wanted to add these little foot pieces right here. So let's say for example that we wanted to have a footboard here, here, and here. So we would just keep adding that same profile but we would adjust this so that it's placed in the proper location. So in this situation for example, um, instead of calling this one bleacher seat 5, we would call this bleacher footrest 1. And so for bleacher footrest one, you wouldn't want this to be back six feet, you would want this to be back 36 inches. So you would want this to have a left right offset of negative 36. And we would put our up down offset back to zero. And we'll go ahead and update this. So you can see how what that does is that sets this back based on this point, 36 inches. And so now what we have is we have a bleacher footrest in here as well. And I did this a little bit different than this one right here. Um, we don't have to do this exactly, but I mean, I guess you can if you want to, but that one has this up off the ground a little bit. I put it level with the bottom seat, um, but it really doesn't matter. It's more of a design decision at that point, but I'm just gonna do this one more time. So I'm gonna add another one. We're gonna call it bleacher footrest. Two. And if I update that, you can see how this is placed right here. We actually want this one to have a left right offset of negative five feet and an up down offset of six inches. So you can see how what that did is that added this footrest in right here um, at this back point. And so now what we have, and I think I'm gonna split this up into multiple videos, but what we have right now is we currently have a bleacher assembly that extrudes out all of our seating. So what that means is now if I was to build this assembly, if I single click and move along here, you can see how this assembly gets built where it's adding all of these different profile members in here. And I may add one more of these. Um, I don't think I need to be on screen in order to do that. Um, but you can see how what we've done is we've kind of roughed this out. And then in the next video, we can start adding our components that are gonna make up the supports that go into this bleacher assembly. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. In the next video, we'll go through and start adding our supports for this bleacher assembly. But leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Is this helpful to you? Is walking through this giving you a better idea of how to use Profile Builder? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.